Welcome to the world of guns, the game that satisfies all of your fantasies of assembling and disassembling your favorite firearms. Right now I'm working on the American Made Tech 9, in specific trying to get this final achievement for it. Now normally I'm not an achievement hunter, but in order to unlock new guns, like this Thompson over here, I need to get experience points. In order to get experience points, the easiest way is to just get achievements. And the reason I'm sticking with the Tech 9 is because I realized, like this Colt 1911, if I move on before I get everything and try and come back later, I just forget how to assemble and disassemble it. Because this is a huge memorization game. So this final achievement that I need to get is called Champion. In order to get that, I need the fastest time of the day in either the game, super game, or hardcore game mode while not losing any of my modifiers. If I do that, then my score just plummets and there's no chance I'm going to get the achievement. As we can see up here in the leaderboards, I actually sit number two, separated from the leader by only 0.6 seconds. Actually, I think this is base 10 here, so more like 0.7 seconds. Yeah, who knows? Some amount of math. Whew. So let's just hop into hardcore game mode and I can show you guys what we're dealing with. So here is the Tech 9 with my red, white, and blue American color scheme because I always forget that this is an American made weapon. I always think this is something out of the Middle East because I always see it in Counter Strike as one of the terrorist weapons. So, in order to start disassembling it, you need to just click apart and it'll kind of fall apart on its own. Now, as you can see, a lot of these don't happen instantaneously or even quickly for that matter. So you end up needing to chain these events together to make sure that you get the fastest time possible. So for instance, right now I'm trying to get this bolt out. I would have to kind of do both of these at the same time, come back here, do that, kind of switch back and forth, making sure that the sequence that I pick is going to benefit a faster time. Now that obviously was not the right sequence, but you can kind of get, get my get my point. So let's just go ahead and do a full speed run and see if I can get this in one or two tries for you guys. I'm not going to do a whole lot of commentating while this is happening because I need 100% of my focus to make sure I'm not clicking the wrong stuff accidentally. What the hell happened there? I lost my modifier. Oh, you know what happened? <laughs> I was trying to click this pin right here. I think I accidentally clicked this lower receiver. Oh, that's rough. You have to be really precise. Make sure that your mouse work is just on point. So now since I lost the modifier, I have to start all over again. This is a pretty quick one to disassemble, so it's not a huge deal. Ooh, that was fast. That might have been my fastest disassembly so far. 26.85 seconds. Ooh, I'm not going to talk too much because it just I get in my own head and my assembly just turns to crap. So let's, let's give this a go. Come on, magazine, get in there. 24 seconds, oh, 25 seconds, oh. 51.89 seconds. Whew. Oh gosh, oh, you don't know how long I've been trying to get this. I've been I've been sitting in the 55, so this was, <laughs> this was way faster than any of the other times I've had so far. All right, here we go. Top three, achievement unlocked champion. Five. Some weird number, five five hundred comma one, but I'll take it. Oh, it looks like I get an extra thousand for completing all these achievements, and I got a nice little gold color here too. That's cool. I'm gonna have to chase after that. I guess next one is the Breda 92 FS or 92, whichever version this is. Whew, so <laughs> one down and a lot to go. This zooms out pretty far, so I can only assume that it'd come out to at least here with all these weapons. That Tech 9 with 35 parts, that was the easiest one so far. They're only going to get more difficult. But I'll kind of keep you abreast of 
all of my achievements or achievement hunting that's going on with any of interesting guns that I encounter. Next up is the Luger P08 here. The Luger has always been kind of a, a cool one for me. Hopefully that one <laughs> is not as difficult as any of these other ones. 